Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Hmm. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite mugs. Uh, it's one my father made uh, years ago, and I actually found it on eBay. And uh, it's an, they advertise it as an oversized mug, and it's a pretty good sized mug, so I like it. And by the way, my dad is coming in March. Uh, maybe he'll bring me some mugs. Uh, just saying. All right. <laughs> well, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. And once again, welcome back to Coffee in the Word, where it's God's Word and a cup of joe. All right. Well, this morning, uh, incidentally, I'm going to go ahead and do some introductions in case you're seeing this for the first time. Uh, my name is John Guru, and I am from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas. Uh, I started doing this when the pandemic hit. Uh, they had shut down the churches. We could not gather for in-person worship. Um, so I thought to myself that uh, I enjoy hearing Scripture read out loud, and I figured that there were other people that did, and uh, that was almost two years ago that I've been doing this every morning. And I follow the uh, Revised Common Lectionary, and there's a should be a link in the description of the video if you want to know where I'm getting the readings from. This morning, the Revised Common Lectionary takes us, uh, we're going to start off in Psalm 71, and then we're going to Second Chronicles, and then for the New Testament lesson, we're going to Acts. So let's go. Psalm 71, verses 1 through 6, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, to which I may continually come. You have given the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel man. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from before my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Get a little coffee here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in the Old Testament lesson, we're going to Second Chronicles chapter 34 verses 1 through 7 so here we go Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in the ways of David his father and he did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left for in the eighth year of his reign while he was yet a boy he began to seek the God of David his father. And in the twelfth year he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places, the Asherim and the carved <clears throat> carved in metal images, and they chopped down the altars of the Baals in his presence, and he cut down the incense altars that stood above them, and he broke in pieces the Asherim and, and the carved in metal images, and he made dust of them and scattered it over the graves of those who had sacrificed to them. He also burned the bones of the priest on their altars and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And in the cities of Manasseh, Ephraim, and Simeon, and as far as Naphtali in their ruins all around, he broke down the altars and beat the Asherim and the images into powder and cut down all incense altars throughout all the land of Israel. Then he returned to Jerusalem. All right. All right, next, uh, for the New Testament lesson, we're going to Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. So here we go. While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word, and the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter declared, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? 
and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to remain for some days. And this is the word of the Lord for this morning. All right, next we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I will read the prayer of the day. <clears throat> Let us pray. O oh God, you gave your servant John Chrysostom grace to pro proclaim the gospel with eloquence and power. As the bishop of the great congregations of Antioch and Constantinople, he fearlessly bore reproach for the honor of your name. Mercifully grant to all bishops and pastors such excellence in preaching and fidelity in ministering your word that your people shall be partakers of the divine nature. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, you heard the prayer had mentioned John Chrysostom, a, a preacher, and there's a short paragraph here I'd like to share with you. Given the added name Chrysostom, which means golden-mouthed in Greek, St. John was a dominant force in the 4th century Christian church. Born in Antioch around A.D. 347, John was instructed in the Christian faith by his pious mother, uh, Anthusa. After serving in a number of Christian offices, including acolyte and lector, John was ordained as a presbyter and given preaching responsibilities. His simple but direct messages found an audience well beyond his hometown. In A.D. 398, John Chrysostom was made Patriarch of Constantinople. His determination to reform the church, court, and city brought him into conflict with established authorities. Eventually, he was exiled from his adopted city. Although removed from his parishes and people, he continued writing and preaching until the time of his death in A.D. 407. It is reported that his final words were, Glory be to God for all things. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Always learn something new when they add something like that. So, All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'm going to sign off. So be happy and be safe and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.